when we talk about people getting prominence people contributing to the world that we live and people who are considered greats in this world we come to a debate about smartness versus ideas since time immemorial the recruitment process the promotion process choice of rewards asking people to occupy positions of authority have always been tested on the basis of their smartness what is smartness smartness is about taking and internalizing information understanding them analyzing them appreciating the nuances and coming to a conclusion if an sop is provided or if it is asked to do a certain algorithm to arrive at a specific course of action iq eq or intelligence which are considered components of smartness are measurable are observable and are controllable who are those representatives scientists explorers writers creators painters who have made the difference let us take a few examples one of the names that uh, comes to mind when we speak of smart people is einstein of course einstein had the smartness to understand the mathematics and physical laws to understand and how planetary motions of kepler work but he brought the larger thinking speed of light is the ultimate that could be achieved nothing can go beyond that the a new idea which is not limited by the smartness of understanding analyzing and giving us out let us take for example mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi understood what is the politics that is going on how british is exploiting the indian situation for commercial gains and playing one against another how untouchability is an economic uh, curse but he had the idea of bringing in non violence coining new words mobilizing people some of the world's greats and especially people who wants to make difference have to be people who are not just people of intelligence or smartness but they must be intelligence smartness plus something which is concluding into the realm of ideas pluto was once traveling and he saw on the sea shore a few sailors were fighting to get control over the helm of the ship and he came back and wrote that while ordinary people think that they are intelligent enough to control any ship a good sailor has to be good own craft that is he must have his own smartness and intelligence plus he must have the idea of the winds and the stars idea of the waves idea of the people's strengths to take the energy out and give a direction so there are many things which go into processing of information but one has to have the idea of where exactly one is heading the intelligence is given to a large extent at the time of birth but idea is something which depends on one's industry one's exposure one's experience and one's aptitude essayist paul graham in one of his very recently published essays says that there are four or five things that we must do in order that our smartness have a larger context and has more contributing quotient inside it for the society that we live in the first thing that we require to grow beyond smartness is to have a obsessive interest unless you are more than normal interest on a particular subject you cannot generate ideas on that particular subject once you have lot of love lot of uh, interest a lot of uh, connection in that particular subject then you will be growing you will be uh, doing a lot of uh, research and will be able to find out second important thing is to be independent minded now if you are stuck with the old mindset then you will only be doing incremental improvements which is nothing but being a little more smart to be a man of ideas you must be able to travel in a completely different path as i told about einstein or as i told about mahatma gandhi you take any other leader whether they are in political space whether they are in scientific space whether they are in artistic space they were willing to be independent minded and explore new things third important thing is picking up interesting projects where you will have the association and the research connections and networks to develop ideas to get 
ideas from others to improve upon which we call idea of ideas and there are a set of mundane things like for example working hard working hard never gets out of fashion second important thing is that maintaining your youthfulness new ideas are associated with the energy and the ability that comes to human beings during one's youth and after youth it is told that people get old they get fossilized they, their minds become obstinate but actually youthfulness is something that is associated with having good health having no liabilities uh, so that one can take uh, new paths there is a famous saying that teaching is the best way of learning so if you want to actually generate new ideas you must do a great deal of writing speaking and teaching last but not the least always examine yourself whether you are working on that small delta which is the difference between smartness and new ideas even if you do a very small thing such as giving a lecture or writing an essay whether you are bringing something which to your own ability and own mind is contributing something which is a new idea now this gap between smartness and ideas is an interesting space smartness is achieved by many of us going from smartness to ideas requires a few steps requires a few journeys requires a few associations requires a few projects which probably will be extremely interesting and i'm sure all of you will be greatly benefited by exploring that space between smartness and ideas thank you very much